that's cool. Didn't even know about that one. Alright, here we go. Whoa, that was cool. Alright, I have the black pieces. I'm not gonna go berserk because I'm trying to set a raiding record. Um, so, let's lead with bishop e4. Goal here is to pin that down and prevent knight takes bishop. Okay. Uh, he can't take that, so... Um, I'm gonna take this piece. Oh, I can't take that because I'm pinned. I'm gonna take this one. And I've got an attack on the queen, another attack on the queen. This king's running up the board, and I don't care. Alright, so he's gonna try to stay on this diagonal to fluster my progress of stopping him. Um, I'm not sure if I can do knight takes queen here. Knight takes queen, king f6, king there, king g7, queen a8, um, king h7. Now I think I got this. I think I can take that. We're going to learn very soon oh, whether this is a good or a bad idea. This could be my first defeat in the variant. Or this could be something brilliant. And we'll know momentarily. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to lose this. Because unlike King G7, which I saw, he's got Rook G8 here. And I don't have a really good way to stop it. Like, I can play this, and he takes my queen, after which I play rook b8. Oh, he doesn't have to take my queen. Okay, well, we've all learned something today. Um, yeah. I needed to take there and then play rook here. And then this falls for the same reason, so you got me. All right. So I've fallen to 1917, down 104 rating points today. Oh well. Now I know that that doesn't work. Now I know that that's one trap I can try to play on other players. Alright. I got the white pieces. We're going to lead with the same thing that my opponent just played. Okay. copy that one. Alright. Can I just shoulder him out of this? Alright, so I'm threatening king c8. Um, he, actually, he can't go king a7, so I think I've got this. Um... Ha-ha! Brilliant! That's the fastest possible win in the game. So, not bad. It's good recovery. Yeah, so I've learned that I can't just take the queen like I did that other game. Um... Definitely my opportunism rate for this game is pretty high. Oh yeah, kings move diagonally. Would you imagine that? Can I get another pairing? Maybe not. I need some little intermission music here. So I'm still trying to figure out, what should I play against one king g3? I um, guess I'll figure that out after the tournament. Alright, here's the games in progress. Um, seem to be taking a moment to complete. 
Oh, hey, we got an opponent. I've got the black pieces. All right, so this is how I counter bishop d4. Um, not sure what that's about. Like, why would you grab that right away? Is there some concern that it would be going somewhere? Okay, yeah, let's get the bishop out of harm's way. So my bishop's no longer on pre. I still have this nice little pin here. And I control that square. Okay, can I YOLO it? I might be able to. Or I could just win the queen. Yeah, let's just win the queen. There we go. What's this name? If I put that backwards. Okay. Let's keep moving. Just keep moving. Now note that there is no pin because he moved his piece out of the way, but um, I'm threatening, okay, now I can just block the rook, right? And I'm still one tempo ahead on the race. I mean, basically, if you're two ranks ahead of your opponent, this is a pretty significant lead. Um, I can't capture that. It's a very good observation on my opponent's part. Um, but you know what else is a good observation? This. Okay, so he's aiming to stop me from advancing my king further. Um, so I'm just going to take his bishop. And it looks like I'm drawing this game. Maybe I had some better chances with rook b, rook b5, rook a5, and then takes, but I don't know. It looks a little bit nebulous. Um, also worthy of consideration is just queen d6, right? Because he still can't take my queen. Oh, then he just moves his knight and threatens my queen that way. Um, can I just take on d7? Yeah. That's free. Okay. He still... Oh, why can't I go there? Oh, that'd be check. Okay. So I'm going to stop his king from going to the back rank. Um, and now what's he going to do? His rook's pinned. He still can't interpose a piece and go to the back rank, so I'm going to win this. Whereas if, if I had the white pieces, this would be a different dilemma, and the sack on c8 would... Actually, that didn't change anything. I just do rook takes instead of king takes. Okay, that's GG. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He says, everybody come to my stream in other people's streams. Why would you do that? I guess it's one way to gather attention. It's just, I would not have imagined it. Um, all right, so I got a pin. Um... Now, do I not just take this? The pin's still in effect. I'm just going to take everything. 
Take, take, take. He's probably going to play king there. Otherwise, I can take this too and just keep taking everything. All right, so he plays that. Um, do I play rook g5 or do I follow suit? I don't know. This is complicated. Oh wait, his king's not going very far. It only looks like it is, but when you consider that this cuts off a lot of squares, this king's not going very far at all. Whereas I took care of his dark squared bishop, so I'm going a lot farther. Um, farther, further, further, whatever. Um, so let's just keep moving. Oh, okay, so now he's actually threatening to go there. Um, what do I do about it? Ah, here's what we do. Rook g6. Oh, that would allow him to take the rook. Rook g7, perhaps? No, that would block my king. Um... Maybe knight takes here. Yeah, no, this is too close. Um, I'm not feeling comfortable about this. Racing kings? Yes. Goals just get the king to the other side. I was going to say, it seems like a very peculiar chess position. Yeah. They probably That's... wouldn't ever reach in a normal game. Uh, I don't know about that. I do know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's just threaten to take everything. Protect this. Although that didn't need protecting. Also, I could have taken the queen right away. Shame on me for getting distracted. Hey, over here, you're not allowed to check. This is true. Wow. Um, so, do I play rook here? Do I play queen there? I've got to play something somewhere here. Um, yeah, I want to move my queen to stop that. So I'm thinking queen here. And then if he attacks my queen, I just block with the rook. Um, Alright, so he's created a pretty safe path for his king, minus this one little tactic here. do. Okay, so I'm still cutting this off, cutting that off, and hopefully getting my king through fast enough. Okay, if I can protect this square, I'm good. I think I got him on time. Perhaps not on the position, but definitely on the clock. Oopsie daisy. Well, that's no good. Uh. Well, well, well. That was too bad. Um, I messed that up pretty badly. Starting with early in the opening, I could have taken the queen. I think that was my biggest mistake. Everything else kind of pales in comparison to that one enormous, colossal blunder. Um, so, yeah, pro tip. If your opponent offers their queen, take it. Um, it's really not much else to say there. Oh, I can't go there. 
and I can't take this bishop. Okie dokie. Just play the bishop to a safe little corner. And wait for him to move his king and then take his bishop. Yeah, he played really well that game. Kudos to him. Right, my knight's hanging. Suppose I'll move the knight and hit his bishop. Notice the theme here where that bishop keeps getting attacked over and over, right? Um, I can't do... well, okay. He's attacking my bishop, I'm attacking his. Everything balances out, so I'm just going to move my king forward. If he moves his king, I take his bishop and win a piece. Otherwise, yeah, this is a possibility, but I'm covered in this case. Or maybe I want to take his light squared bishop instead. No, this is a developing move. We're developing. I've got the back rank covered, and now I just need to race my king up a bit. Okay, I've got this pinned. Um, he's still pinned down. I'm two squares away from winning. This is probably going to go my way. It's hard to see how I could mess this one up. Yeah, racing king's bug house. Well, there would be no checkmate. Um, it'd be quite a mess. Okay, and I have a choice of two different ways to win, depending on where my opponent goes. Again, his rook can't move to stop me because that would be check. That's the salient point here. All right. Oh, if the two boards were connected? I don't know. You tell me how crazy that would be. Well, what's crazy here is that I'm not winning the tournament. Well, let's be honest. Well, this chess hater dude's doing pretty well. Um, probably going to get paired with him again sometime. Okie dokie. Sure, I can duplicate that. Um, I feel like I should do something about this king. Okay, this pins the knight. And let's just put the queen here and slow his progress a little bit. So this knight's pinned. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Um, all right, we're just going to race... We're going to bolt for it. Um, not a very bright plan on my part, but hopefully an effective one. Why didn't I play bishop there? Bishop there would have made a million times more sense. Why am I playing such rushed, stupid moves? Um... Okay. Uh, I was going to play rook c6 anyway, but here it seems to make even a little bit more sense. I need to deflect this piece, though. Um, this is going to deflect the bishop, I hope. Or not. Alright. My opponent just gave away his queen for nothing. Um... And so yeah, let's just move our king in and win. Or draw. I don't really care. Maybe I should care. Um, do I have this here? So he can't take my queen. Um, I can't move my queen out of the way. But, I mean, this is almost as good, right? Yeah, you'll find that if you have both rooks and your queen, your defensive resources are unbelievable. Um, and I do mean that, because it's really hard to believe that I could just find something like rook b8 and it's just there. But, 
You have to have some faith in your position. Which is just completely crazy, I know. Alright, so we're probably going to get paired with Chess Hater again. His rating's on the rise, mine's not exactly. Um, but I think my last games of Racing Kings were slower and with increment. Um, so it gave me more time to think and not make mistakes. Okay, so this is what I tend to lead with and then win the queen. But this time I need to make an effort um, to not... Yeah, so this is going to slow his king a bit, having my two bishops exposed like this. Um, so, at least for the moment, my two bishops are safe. It's not going to last forever, but um, hopefully it's enough to catch my king up. I should probably take more time and calculate where to move my pieces exactly. Um, so I've pinned his queen. I probably should have moved my king this way, like here and then forward there. Um, of course, I can't take the rook. Uh, I can protect my bishop, but then he attacks it with the knight, so what's the point? Um, also, he's just looking to move his king forward again. So I should just run with my bishop, right? Uh, I could just... Yeah, this is the safest place for my bishop to go. And I can still play rook d5 and move my king forward this way. Um, uh, so, minus any surprises, I think I have some initiative here. Uh, the rook on f3 does get in the way of the knight hitting the bishop. So this is why you want to develop your pieces before attacking. <laughs> as funny as that sounds, it does apply in this variant. Okay, so now he's going for my other bishop. Um, but I think he can only bear one knight against that bishop. So I'm debating, do I want to... No, I want to just defend it. Now he could move his knight there and hit my queen, I suppose. I should have thought about that. Um... But no, my queen takes the place of the bishop quite effectively. He still can't take my queen. I'm still guarding all the same squares I used to be guarding, and I'm still threatening to play rook d5 and get my king forward. But maybe king g5 in hindsight would have been smarter. Or dropping something on the first or eighth rank. Yeah. Um. Okay, so he can't check me. So I'm just going to move my king up and, up and away uh, like this. Unless I have some reason to go this way instead. Um, these are my ideas. Uh, we'll see how they play out in practice. So we're just going to run for it. Okay. Um, I probably shouldn't have hung my queen. Yeah, I probably should, like, unhang my queen. Alright, 
<laughs> so here we unhang the queen. This is a pin. The knight can't move. Um, I am down heavy material because I messed up. And yeah, he takes my rook. I'm still down heavy material. Exchanging might give me some chances here. Um, stalemate's another thing to think about. Breaking that fortress is going to be really difficult. So I'm trying to centralize my pieces. Um, whilst not allowing his king to move forward. Oh, that didn't quite work. Yeah, I lost. That's too bad. Well played. Well played. So I tried too hard to win that. I'm not sure where I lost it. But this whole thing of trying to win the queen in the corner doesn't seem to be working out. I have the black pieces. Alright, so we're just going to copycat, because that's what other people have been doing. So what I'm going to do. Uh, he takes that one. He's threatening my queen. I'm going to sack. Oh, that isn't even a sack. That's just whatever it is. Uh, it's that I don't have a bishop pair, so I'm playing an unfamiliar team here. So I do this so I can play rook c5. Alright, um, he doesn't want my knight. I still want to play rook c5. So, this kind of sort of gets a tempo. Uh, I want to follow with this. So he can't take my rook. Knight's pinned. The rook can't take the rook. Queen's way over there. I mean, what's he going to do? My knights control all the spaces around his king. So I just need to like play my king up. and um, Okay, I guess he's trying to move his king there. That's reasonable. Um, do I have any tricks against that? All right, so this knight's still pinned. I control this now. I mean, I guess he could go around. Uh, although by going that far, he's maybe giving up the rook. Maybe. Uh... Oh, also, I could just play rook c7. And then, like, rook b5, rook takes rook. I don't know in what order I'd play that, but it's an idea. Um, I could also drop a piece back on the first rank. Yeah, first rank strategy is actually really strong in this game, so uh, I'm going to stick with that. So here we go. It's not the first rank, that's the eighth rank. It's just I'm used to seeing this from Black's point of view and seeing calling that the first rank. Um, uh, okay. So we're just going to exchange down here. If he tries to do that again, maybe I block with... Oh, crap. Um... All right, point taken. I gave up a piece. So I'm now down an exchange instead of being up. It's gonna take a little bit of adjustment to get used to, but um, 
lesson learned. That's why my opponent did that silly move. It's because there are tricks involved. All right. Um, can I do anything here? I can't move the knight still. Um, well, that's a mess and a half. What do I do? Having more time helps a lot with this variant. Um, just time to think and figure this out. 3-0 is way too fast. All right, I have to take that. It's a difficult conclusion, but it's inevitable. Uh, and I just need to bank on my piece activity being worth something. Alright, so I'm threatening to take this. Also that. But I moved the knight here so that I can move my other knight without... Well, that was defended anyway. Also, this is a fork. Forks still are a thing. Um, Alright. Let's just move. Move, move, move. Okay. Uh, this is still a pin. This is a free piece. This is another free piece. There we go. There's no time to think in this particular tournament. Um, yeah, the no checking rule is particularly disturbing. So I'm down 124 points just in this one event. Uh, you know, there's probably better language you could choose than that. All right, white pieces. I'm gonna lead off bishop d4. Go figure, I get white pieces against the 1200 after getting black pieces who knows how many rounds in a row. Um, well, hopefully it's going to be worth it. Okay. Oh, let's go, go, go. This protects my bishop, so I like the bishop pair. Bishop pair are a very handy couple to have. Um. Also, if he offers his queen, take it. This is like the one thing I've got to learn and really understand about this variant is that players do move this rook and give up the queen just accidentally. Uh, they're far more likely to do that in this variant than in quite a few other uh, variants. So um, you don't normally see people just hang a queen out of nowhere. Wait, I've got a bishop pair. Why is he... The, I don't understand what he's doing. Um, okay, but I have a free queen if this rook moves. In fact, back here, should I not have just knight takes c1, right? Queen h8, king h4. Oh, yeah, I have to do this first, otherwise he has bishop takes. But now I take the free queen. So this is what I missed the other game. Now I see it. So we're learning. I'm working my way up to uh, some respectable rating. Okay. Uh, my opponent's feeling optimistic. I have to shatter his hopes and dreams with moves like this one. Um, Alright, so I have this square covered. So what's his idea? What's his big plan here? How is he going to break this? 
Also, I could just move my bishop up to cover that a third time. Um, which would make a lot of sense. Yeah, let me do that. Oh, but now, now I can't take there with the bishop. So if he takes my rook, okay, whatever, that didn't happen. But, um... All right, so we're just gonna move the king forward-ish. I'm still protecting this square. My big plan is to play the bishop here, though. Um, that's gonna be the big surprise. Uh, I can't do that, though. That hangs my bishop. <sighs> so much for the surprise effect, right? So, um... Can I do anything else? Oh, here. Here we go. King there, rook there, bishop here. All right, so he's threatening rook there. I stop his king. I've got these squares covered. Um, oh, crud. He's got rook. No, he can't do rook there, because my rook my king blocks this. I was thinking he had rook b7 and then king a8, but rook b7 is illegal. So, yeah. GG. Wow, what a tournament. Tick-tock, sir. It is your move. I mean, could he even play anything to block this diagonal? I don't think so. I think this pre-move just seals the deal. Alright, I have the white pieces. Let's do king g3. Depart from bishop d4 for a second, if only to find out what else is out there. Let's just run! <laughs> okay, so if he exchanges his bishop, um, he's giving up the bishop pair. Um, okay, now do I really run for it? Like, wasn't this the line I tried in the first game of the tournament and just didn't work out at all? Is this not the same line? Can I not just, like... I mean, am I missing something? This king completely paralyzes his army. Um, this is the first game all over again. Except I think, yeah, here I have to play rook g8 first and then rush the king. Uh... How did this go again? Rook g8. So I'm definitely threatening this. It's gonna play queen a7. And then I play rook 1g7, right? And I'm just winning a queen and the game? can't take my rook, and he can't check me, and it's pretty damn difficult for him to guard that square. Um, so, this looks like GG? Unless he can find some way to guard that. Okay, so I'm probably not going to win the tournament, because my opponent's moving too slowly. Uh, also because I have nowhere near enough points. But let's blame it on the opponent. <laughs> uh, okay. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so now I'm just going to focus not on trying to win it quickly, but just on winning it. Meaning, I'm going to play the best moves. that a free queen? Oh, knight takes, knight takes, here we go. It's a difficult position, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. Well, I mean, it seems quite radical to accuse him of being experienced with a provisional rating. I mean, practically nobody knows if there's an engine out there, and people who do know whether there's an engine out there, just in terms of something capable of playing the variant. Um, people who know that probably have no idea, if there is source code, how to compile it. So. The, the idea that somebody could possibly be getting assistance is just completely ludicrous. Um, not even worth considering. Yeah, that was a good, good tournament. Do we have another one of those tournaments coming up? No, I'm going to make one. All right. Um, except instead of that being 3-0, we're going to do 3-1, just for laughs. Uh, that's going to be Racing Kings. Maybe I should have done 2-1 instead of 3-1. I don't know. Maybe 2-1 would have gotten more traction. Now, this is Lee Chess. Um, I did just officially lose 100 rating points in that last tournament, or something like that. Okay. I mean, sure, maybe he played some casual games, or I don't know. He does seem experienced. Or at least he's able to calculate tactics until time pressure crunches in. Um, so we're going to see if anybody joins the 3-1. If nobody joins the 3-1, I might make a 2-1. If nobody joins the 2-1, I'll just resort to putting Seeks in the lobby. If nobody plays in the lobby, well, I don't know. At that point, I'm kind of SOL. Well, oh, oh boy. This is going to be a treat. He's quite the genius at bullet and such. Um, I'm going to learn a thing or two from playing him. Um, yeah. Oh dear. What have I gotten myself into? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, well, definitely my rating's not going to go up this tournament. Um, but at least we can have some good games. Okay, well, we'll just see how badly he outcalculates me. We'll just see. He's rated 18, 17. It's a nice little sound effect. Well, I got the white pieces. All right, we're going to lead with king g3 again. Always lead king g3, just for the YOLO, just for the fun. All right, so king a3. I can't take this bishop, but immediately I can take the other bishop. Um, and shouldn't I? I mean, this exposes my bishop, which can't currently be taken. And possibly I get to follow up with other fun tactics and such. Uh, so let's just pin things down. Again, this bishop's immune. All right, he sidesteps the pin. And I grab another piece, threatening to take here. Um, 
I've got a lot of pieces exposed covering all these diagonals. It seems like my chances are decent here. Okay. Um, if I do that, we trade queens. I don't really want that trade. Well, do I? Actually, I do. I have, I'm up a bishop. Uh, this is okay. So he takes my queen, I take his queen. If he takes my rook, I just do take his bishop. Oh, he takes it that way. Didn't even consider that. Um, that's pretty sharp. Alright, so we're just going to step back here. Uh, yeah, I am hitting the knight, so if the king moves, the knight's attacked. Um, I'm not sure what else to say about this. Check the bishop. Yeah, this is a... I really like this style. It looks pretty cool. And you can have it too if you want. Um, it's definitely downloadable. You feel free to use it. Um, all right. So let's just control more space on this side of the board. Um, I'm kind of hesitating on advancing because this position works pretty well. Um, Alright, this cuts off all those squares, um, and now he's got to find a move. And I'm sure he'll find something, because he's pretty crafty. Um, okay, this threatens to take my bishop. With that, I'm going to bolt for it. I'm just feeling it. In the heat of the moment, we're going for it. Here we go. Now for the tricky part. Um, no, seriously, this part's tricky. <laughs> uh, okay. So I can't take his queen. He attacks my rook. I think this is okay. Do I have better? Maybe. I'm not seeing it though. This is definitely risky. But what else am I going to do? I need to protect the rook. And I don't want to block with the rook. It might work. He's just going to outcalculate me. Um, it's possible that rook g7 might have worked. What? What's that? That makes no sense. Why would you do that? Are you counting in like queen takes queen or something? I mean, why on earth would you play that move? Okay, so I'm going to try to get my king here. Actually, why don't I just play... Yeah, that's coming up, guys. No, I missed my chance. Totally missed my chance. Um, oh, no, no, wait. No, this is still working. 
amazingly. The deal is that he can't do queen takes, and so he's got to take with something else, but that something else doesn't protect this square. Racing Kings is confusing, guys, and this is why. There's tactics everywhere. Four, three, two, one. All right, we'll take it. I didn't see that, okay? I'm not... Come on, guys. I'm playing honestly, but yeah, he does have a point. You guys shouldn't be doing that. Um, I wasn't looking, but... Uh, I spotted that on my own. You'll have to trust me, but if there's a problem, then... I might have to, like... I don't know, stop the chat window, or put the stream on a delay, or I don't know what. Uh, Alright, so free stuff. Free stuff is free. I take here. For some reason, I have a good feeling about this. I don't know why. Um, oh, he can't take my rook. Well, that's pretty cool. But why is that better than using the queen? Ah, because my queen stays on the diagonal. This is the deal. That's pretty cool. So, even if his king makes it forward a little bit, I'm doing pretty well here. Granted, I feel a little bit more comfortable if I had more pieces, but... Um, wait, now I have a rook. I have two bishops for a rook, and I'm threatening to take all his stuff. Uh, his king is forced to stick here, protecting the rook which is just slowing him down a little bit. Um, it's nothing fatal, but it just slows him a little bit. And I guess I'm going to go here and take that. I'm starting to like this rook takes and then over idea. Um, looks pretty cool. Alright, so I can't do knight takes. Um, I could do bishop takes, but that'd be giving up my bishop. Uh, I could pile more pressure on all this. Like, I could play queen here. And just hang my queen. Um, Oh, if I do rook takes, he can't take back. My king defends the rook. He can do knight takes, however. I didn't see that. But, yep, that's definitely a possibility. Um, okay. Uh, I can take this. No, I can't, because that's check. Um... Hmm. I'm kind of forced to trade like this. That's not a trade. This is, well, it's kind of a trade. Um, but yeah, I'm forced to retreat. Okay. What do I do? What a messy position. I'm just going to run for it. Um, starting to think that running for it was not a good idea. Okay, this is seriously bad. I have to run again to protect this bishop. 
everything's hanging by a thread here, which is kind of typical of my style of play, but um, not ideal. have to do that um, otherwise this king just races through and I have really no chance to stop it wait can I not just take that I don't even know I'm so confused I'm going to not take it because I'm afraid of taking it. He somehow scared me. I'm not even sure how he did it. Um, oh, I can't move that. Uh, this is not good. This is seriously not good. Just hope he doesn't notice. He noticed. All right. Yeah, dropping my queen was a ginormous blunder. Um, I think I might have been okay except for that. Uh, but maybe I was in Zugzwang. Maybe I was just completely hosed there. Uh, so yeah, after beating me, he just withdraws from the event. So I guess maybe he has to go. Who knows? Uh, no, I don't care. Um, I'll get my rating back somehow. Doesn't really matter who gives me the points. Um, okay, we're just gonna bolt for it. Like we did that other game. And some other games, and oh wait, this one's different. Um, maybe I can't do what I did the other game. Uh, maybe I have to show just a touch more finesse here. Okay, so this rook's pinned. Alrighty. Rook's not pinned anymore. I mean, ratings come and go anyhow. Um, it would have been awesome if I could make it get to the top of the leaderboards just today, but it appears that that's not feasible. Just given my level of skill or lack of skill here, um, it just doesn't seem to be happening. All right, so. I'm gonna take his bishop, because that bishop's a monster. And then maybe do some trickery. Um, also, maybe take this. Though why? Why would I want to take it? Okay, I'm gonna protect E2. But more so, discover this possibility. Uh, while stopping Rook B7. So it's a multi-purpose move. Um, hmm. Can I do knight d4? No. Attempts to pin that and be super clever just don't work. Um... I wish I could stop that somehow. I was going to play rook d8. It's going to be super frustrating, and I don't see a way to stop it. Um, I guess this is the plan, is that this is going to deal with the rook on d8. I've 
I mean, knights take forever to cross the board, right? So you normally don't think about this possibility. Um, but I think I got this covered. So unless he's got another trick up his sleeve, um, I think I'm doing okay. So take there. Um, I guess take the knight? I don't know. This feels slow, but it seems to work. Alright, we take that. And block here, and then this is the threat. The only way to stop that is rook takes rook, which is met by king takes rook. So with that, I'm going to get some trophy, probably. Um, Oh, you got timed out without without knowing. I'm not sure what that refers to. Um, hmm. But yeah, this is just a 3-1 event. So there's a one second increment just to prevent people from flagging or running out of time um, if they move very quickly. It's not enough to think, it's just enough to move. Alright, so how's Agent doing here? I'm assuming that he's going to win this. Um, he's a really crafty fellow. So somehow one of them is going to cut the other off on the 7th or 8th rank. And fun little tactics will ensue. Um... Actually, that heavily favors black. So yeah, that's almost certain to be black winning that. Um, well, almost in the sense that I didn't see rook f7. That's the one drawing move. And I guess black's going to be forced to either blockade on the 8th rank and try again. Which, I don't know if that's going to work. I mean, that looks really not right. Um, because now white's threatening rook f8, and there's no way to stop rook f8 and king h8. Yeah, well, that didn't quite go so well for black. Uh, I'm assuming the agent had black there. I don't know. Oh no, he had white. Alright, so, well done. Very crafty. You gotta win um, by tricking your opponent who otherwise could have drawn. Uh, very crafty. Alright, we got Agent again, and I got the black pieces this time. So what do I do? How do I play this? Do I go with King B3, Bishop E4, or something else? Um, going with king b3 because I like this bishop I like it so much um, it's more fun playing with it than without it oh I forgot to play that oh that's going to hurt that's going to hurt a lot um, alright let's play this up here pretend that everything's okay even though it totally isn't. And I guess run the king up to catch the queen. <laughs> okay. Well, well, well. This is not my finest hour. Um, okay. Protect my queen. Totally dead here, but let's not acknowledge it just yet. Um... Okay, I can take the knight. <laughs> Alright. 
I'm just gonna keep taking pieces because at this point I'm kind of hosed. Um, plus, I'm actually threatening to take the queen, so that's a bit of a diversion. Um, okay. I mean, what do I do about this bishop? I don't know. This position's a total wreck. Uh, my bishop's defended. And even if he takes b4 and I take back, my bishop's still defended. If he takes b4, though, I can't... Like, my queen's on three. Yeah, so I'm down two pieces now. Um... That's okay. Let's just find a way to sack everything. And it'll be A okay. Um, I'm doing this for initiative somehow. Um, yeah. I got really good at hanging all my pieces this game. Um, just one after the other after the other. All right, let's play this there. Make him think just a little bit, um, but not too hard. We wouldn't want to hurt him. Um, I joke, but that's, I only joke because I'm completely and utterly totally hosed here and there's nothing I can do um, other than have some fun with it. can't place a piece there because you just take it. Um, Okie dokie. So I guess rook c6 maybe? Um, yeah, my chances this game are pretty abysmal. I might have something, but it's not very much. Okay. So if that moves, I mean, okay, he's threatening to take my stuff and stuff and whatever. Um, but hey, tactics. Tactics show up here, there, and everywhere. Um, maybe I can somehow distract him long enough to make some progress. Uh, wouldn't that be hilarious? So what are we looking at here? Uh, grappa. That's a good drink. It'll, that'll make you think. Um, okay, so he's just pummeling me here. Um, I've got a pin going. Oops. Yeah, he's kind of got this, doesn't he? Um, okay, where do I go? Well, we're going to go for the obvious. Yes, I am just a touch crafty here. I did not expect that to work either. He can't take. 
I've been nailed by that in the previous tournament, and today I get to nail somebody else with it. So, justice is served. Um, now this is hideous. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm probably still lost there. Um, I just panicked. He got me. It's uncommon for me to just panic like that. Um, and maybe any move would have won that. But no, I think he still had that in the bag. Oh, wait, no, he couldn't take my queen. So I just had to make any move, basically. And then not panic on the follow-up. Follow-up's the hard part. Um... Okay, take my queen. Okay. We've played this game before, we'll play it again. Um, I wonder how many times this exact game is gonna happen. So here's the plan. Also this. Um, maybe I had to play the rook there first. Uh, I don't know. I probably messed up. Um, which is not good, considering I'm down a queen. So I... Oh, wait, my rook was already protected. I didn't need to move it. Hmm. Still, I've got some chances here. Um, I need to take that. Or just have it move out of the way. I didn't expect it to move. Okay. Um, I certainly messed up very badly earlier. And now I'm trying to make up for it somehow. Um, okay, so here's the big threat. Uh, it's not going very far now, is it? I see a problem with said threat. Um, that wasn't the problem. So, okay, he can take my rook. Um, I'm not sure that it's going to help him. I might have something here. Oh, also, he can't take my rook. Never mind on that. I appear to have terribly confused my opponent. Um, okay. I can't advance any further. Um, I guess I'm going to threaten to take the bishop. <laughs> That's kind of... Uh, I would normally say ill-advised. And yeah, actually here it is ill-advised, but I mean, what else can I do? It looks hideous, and it is hideous, but... It convinced him to move the bishop, so um, I guess it counts. Um, okay, but now I just take the bishop anyway. Yeah, 
I think I accidentally won this. Um, with a total lack of technique on my part. And to quote Nick here, whoosh. Um, okay, so I think I'm forced to take. And then take here. And maybe this is a draw. Maybe he's got enough to... Oh, wait, no, he can't do bishop there. Um, yeah, he's a tempo slow. You can try rook here and see if I'm paying attention. That's about it. Yep, I'll take it. I would have tried the rook there, just to see what happens. Bishop there. Two can play the bishop game. Maybe I actually want to do bishop takes if he does that. I don't know. No, rook takes allows my rook to go take everything. Um, I'm conflicted. I'm going to do rook takes. Uh, also possible might have just been moving the king. Although he was, he was attacking my queen, so what am I talking about? Um, <laughs> no more berserk. Yeah, about that berserk thing. It doesn't always work. Depends who you're playing. So I've pinned the knight. Um, this is... A bit challenging for my opponent here. Um, well, if I take there, he can take back, and this, this is not pinned to the queen anymore. Um, so I'm down in exchange, but I can really run for it. Um, I'm going to take there first. Somehow bishops just cause me a lot of grief in this game. And so... Yeah, that's why I take the bishop. Don't have to deal with it anymore. Um, okay. So this kind of sort of traps pieces, but not really. But I think my center defends itself pretty well. Um, and it's a launching point for my king to keep running. Otherwise he just takes my bishop and then takes my rook and I mean what's happening next? Um, so it's funny. I am in fourth place in this event. Um, it's not my f best event ever. All right, so this is a free piece. Uh, the reason is because this would be check, and this would be check. So I just have to like hang all my pieces with check, basically. Okay. Um, He's threatening to take my bishop with check. Um, so let's go over here. And now I've got these squares all covered with my queen. So it takes multiple of his pieces lining up to be able to drop a piece on one of those three squares. Um, Okay, and I'm not sure what to do next here. This looks okay. 
So I'm threatening to take that. And I think I have the knight amply defended. Or abundantly defended. Um, so... Yeah, this, if he moves the rook away, that reduces the pressure on the bishop, and I can just take his knight. His knight would otherwise be threatening to take my bishop if my king goes too far. And so now I can just take the knight. Um, one of multiple different ways. So we'll take the knight. And hopefully my extra material will be telling. Okay, so my bishops cover this. Um, it's a little bit tricky for him to break that barrier. People tend to think about the rooks and forget the bishops. Although some people think about the bishops and forget the rooks, but basically either set of pieces does really well at setting a barrier that's hard to break. So if I do rook takes, no, he can't take my bishop. Never mind. My bishop's defended by the king. All right. Third place is mine, unless I happen to lose and my opponent win again or whatever. Uh, basically, everybody's gaining rating points from this. Almost everybody. Um, I'm losing points, but that's okay. Uh, Hyperbullet's not happening. Sorry. There are plenty of people who do Hyperbullet. I really don't. I tend to avoid that. I've played it once. I think I lost a hundred something rating points doing it. Um, and I forget if that was just because I had the Leechos Gone Berserk um, user script plugged in, which just goes berserk every game, but yeah. Hyperbullet's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. The comments would help if they weren't just delayed by internet lag, you know? Um, again, there are plenty of streamers who do bullet. I really avoid it a lot. Occasionally I do do it, but that's the exception to the rule. Um, Especially because there's people who always play it, and they're just ranting and rambling the whole damn time, and they listen to music that I couldn't possibly listen to, and I don't know how they do it, but that's the way they do it. Oh yeah! Yep. GG's. Uh, I'm still looking for more. Yeah, nope, nope, nope. We're going to see. Are there any more? I really want to get on the leaderboard. How close am I to getting on the leaderboard? Or am I already on it? I mean, okay, so I need to get at least 1937 to be eligible for the leaderboard. We're going to get there. Come heck or high water, I'm getting it. Somehow. And I'm actually going to earn it. I'm not going to just, like, whatever. Um, so... I'm just gonna keep playing this until we get it. How about 2 1? Oh, we got a challenge. 3 1 Racing Kings rated. Okay, well, this is fun. Don't need to play a tournament just to play games. I have the black pieces. Bishop d4. Alright. I think Bishop e4 is acceptable against Bishop d4. I really don't know. Oh. Yeah, he's. I mean, you're not supposed to do that on this site. Thanks for the offer. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna set up a tournament. 
No, I, I appreciate the enthusiasm and the wanting me to play something else. It's not happening even if I make it to the leaderboard. I'm just saying that this is a priority for me right now. Um, but, yeah. I'm not interested in um, having other users break the rules. Thanks for the offer, but no, I'm going to earn my way up there. I'm going to learn how to do this and not be awful at it. <laughs> oh my goodness, Agent, that, that's quite the offer. Um, truly, no faster race could possibly be asked for. Uh, he's offering me a half minute plus zero second increment. Um, that's just too good to accept. Yeah, first restrain, next blockade, finally destroy. That's actually quite appropriate for this variant. Although, I tend to think of it in the other order for this variant. First destroy as much as you can, second blockade, and third, like, start restraining and whatever. Um, and start maneuvering your way around. Um, just one game, he says. Oh, I know how that works. You say just one, and then you want just one more, and then you want just another. But, yeah. I mean, you're welcome to do that kind of nonsense with each other, but um, I'm not looking for a half-minute game. I don't even... I mean, I appreciate that people have the option of doing that on this site, but I have no idea why you would ever play with that time control. You'd have to be like completely insane to play it over and over. In my opinion. And I'm not a psychologist, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, that's my opinion. Here we go! Do. Alright, I got the black pieces. Uh. G3. Whoops. Well, that was accidental. We're going to learn a new opening here, guys. King G3, King A3. Holy moly. I don't like this opening one bit because of that. Um, but we're going to learn if this is total, total nonsense or if this is actually playable. Um, so what better opportunity to learn than in the present. Right now, right here, we're going to learn the painful way just how bad this is. Um, Alright, so you can't take the rook. So, maybe this is playable. Um, I've always stuck with king b3, but maybe king a3 is okay. Yep, yep, so he takes that, and he's threatening bishop takes brook now. I see your sneaky little tricks. Um, I'm going to allow them, I suppose, because I don't see what else I can do. Oh, I just take the bishop. Yeah, he takes my bishop, I take his bishop. Problem solved. All right. Um, now bishop takes rook is off the table. What remains unclear is just what in the world's going on here. Like, if he takes my knight, do I just race my king up? Or do I take his knight? Or what? Does it matter? Do they transpose? Um, I appear to have thoroughly confused my opponent, which I hope works in my favor. Okay. Um, right. It's actually kind of hard to deal with. Um, take the knight, next turn I can take the bishop. Unless he takes, and I take, he takes, I take, he takes, he, I take. You get the idea. Um, 
This is forced. I couldn't take the bishop because then you take c1 and this recapture on c1 would be check. Um, all right. Um, I can't take that. Uh, I can't check. I guess this defends my knight. Alrighty, so to move forward, um, I have to somehow get more pieces blocking. Uh, we're gonna move up here, use pseudo making threats, because those threats don't actually go anywhere. Oh, his king is gonna move forward. Well, that's a threat. Um, could I just take the rook? Well, this is dangerous. <laughs> oh wait, he can't do rook takes. Right, I forgot. Well, that kind of changes things. Um, you can't take that either. Alright, so I got a pin. And things are looking good. Things are looking promising. There we go. All right, got two points on the board, and I've got the black pieces. Dare I try that opening again? I doubt it. Um, why would you even start with that? That lacks any and all element of surprise. Um, so either it's strong or um, I don't know. I'm thoroughly confused why you would pick such a brash choice of opening. So I've doubled my rooks again. I don't even know how I got there. Like, did my rooks shuffle? Oh no, he just went back and forth. Okay. All right, so we take this, and we take the free knight, and now I'm up a knight. And sure, my development's a little bit laggy, but who cares? Um, so the problem here is that... Um, get out of this bind takes a little bit of work. He's gonna leave his king on this uh, stuff, so I need to blockade his king this way. He gets my knight. That's okay. Um, unless he doesn't want the knight. He's probably got better plans in mind. Wait, can I not go to C to e3? Okay, yeah, I can. Somehow I thought this interface was indicating I couldn't. Um, so we're just going to blockade there. Threaten to take this, threaten to take that. He can't take here, he can't take there. Um, and hopefully I can establish a blockade on the back rank. Okay, I could take his queen. I'm feeling optimistic. I don't know why. The redneck's last words are, watch this. So we'll see how this goes. Um... Okay, yeah, sure. But what do you do next? Uh, I've 
got to do this, right? There's got to be some trick to this. Alright, I managed to draw it. I totally blundered that. Um, huh. Like I said, one second increment's not enough time to think. It's just enough to keep playing. Yeah, we gotta draw. Also, we got LM, Lee Chess Master of the Murder Castle. What a great name, the Murder Castle. All right, so I'm slowly inching my way up toward the top 10. If we can't get the site number one rating, at least maybe we can get top 10. It's all about setting expectations. Part of his name gets cut off in this little margin here. The murder castle, the E gets cut off. Hmm. I've never seen that before. I must have some weird font setting in this style that prevents that extra letter from showing up. So, am I going to get a pairing? Or are we just going to look at... Um, huh. Okay... I assume, wait, the murder castle's playing white here. And he's just made a red dash for it with his king. Okay, and lost both of his bishops and plays queen f3. This gives me pause about, like, everything in this game. Wait, can he not just, what's he doing? He must be tired. Or just not focusing because um, this looks highly dubious I mean maybe if you could get the knight up there to assist your king and promote it maybe that counts for something but yeah oh my goodness these people need to learn how to make a proper blockade yeah now that's just GG uh, black failed to blockade on the f8 square so white just takes the point. Uh, the murder castle takes the win. Ah, uh, he must have gone berserk. I see in round one he scored three points. He's probably scored another three in this last game. Um, that probably explains his silly moves. All right. So do I get a pairing? Do I get a pairing? Apparently not. So how amazing is it that 
I've been playing this for a while, and Chess Whiz has a higher rating than I do. Okay, you can go Berserk if you want to. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, it's Bishop E4. Oh, why did I do that? I mean, it looks fun, but uh, is fun a sufficient reason to do that? Okay, he can't take my stuff. I mean, he could... oops, okay, there goes my queen. That's okay. It's only a queen. Um, we're going to pretend I did that on purpose. You got that, guys? Queen sack was intentional. Um, do I take the bishop, or do I just dash? Oh, I'm so, so screwed here. Um, yeah, he takes that. I have to run this way. At least my rook's not hanging. Um... And I just dash for it, right? My rook's defended. Uh, I can take here now. I can also just hit his rook. His queen is off sides, so the queen uh, has a difficult time defending the rook, but is capable. Is entirely capable of defending that rook. Okay. I was going to say I can't defend the rook, but I am most mistaken. Uh, still. Oh. That's ugly. Um. So I'm blockading his king. Um. This might draw. Oh, and it might not. How did I miss that? Alright. Ah, I completely forgot that my rook was trapping his king in there. He got me. Alright. We're just gonna run for it. How did I mess that up? And what's really tripping me up is that I'm trying to play for an audience, and that I'm taking no time between games to analyze what's going on. And it's having a huge impact on my learning. Like, the other day, um, I was playing some games and taking ample time between games to, to take account for what happened. And here I'm just play, 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 not really taking much time to think between games. And it's definitely telling. Alright, so I could get a queen for two rooks if I take on d2. I'm gonna knight and a queen for, for two rooks. That's okay. Oh, hang on, it's not a knight and a queen, it's just a queen. That's not so okay. But I played it, so it must be... Um, I hope it's doable. I hope this is tenable. I'm playing way too fast. Getting way too caught up in the action. That's too bad. Um, I need to play a lower impact game next, because this is just too tense. Um, this is way, way too intense. Alright, what do I do about this? This queen is a huge pain. Um, I want to bolt, but at the same time I don't think it works. So I'm going to run back here and just hope that um, I can get all this covered. Okay, so this 
pieces defended by my king. I use my king to defend everything. Um, okay, I can stop his knight from moving if I go king f5. Stops knight e3. Does give up my bishop, but I'm optimistic again. Uh, let's try to hit the rook. And just see, like, is there anything I can do here? Cuts his king off, and if I have spare tempi, maybe I can get my own pieces through. Um, I want to go here. Yeah, this protects that. Does allow queen there, but then I can do bishop here. Um, And that's GG. I'll just pre-move this. Because he's not going to take my queen. I mean, he might, but I'd be surprised. Taking the queen is an admission that, okay, this is hopeless. Yeah. Equally likely to just be hitting resign button if you recognize that it's hopeless. Um, but okay. So here I am, I finished four games. Uh, Pablitos finished five. The Murder Castles finished four and taking a break, if not withdrawn. Uh, a lot of people have withdrawn from this event. Is it just too intense or what's going on? Also, I'm at 1912, and where do I need to get on the, to be eligible for the leaderboard? 1937. Okay. Um, I imagine that I'm not provisional anymore. Well, maybe I still am. I don't see... Do not see... Oh, right, I can't just right-click that anymore. They made a change. Um... Click here though, and then click here, and then click there, and click here, and click there, and click here. No, I'm not provisional anymore. I'm at almost an 80 RD. Uh, it's gonna make it harder to gain rating points. Hey, Gina, welcome. So we got 20 minutes left in the tournament. I'm trailing everybody in fourth place. And by everybody, I mean just like the people who are staying in the event. Um, I mean, even Murder Castle is leading the event, and he's withdrawn. Okay, I've got the black pieces. Um, maybe I do try this king move. I'm not giving up my queen. Not that easily, anyhow. Um... Okay, let's try this move. I've not tried it yet. We're just experimenting, and this one's, experiment's probably going to go awry. Most experiments do. Okay, that's a free piece. He spotted it just as I did. Okay. Um, I can tell that he's played this one before. You wouldn't play this if you haven't played it before. Okay, yeah, he can take there, and I'll do knight takes back. Um, so I'm trailing by a bishop, and bishops are just a nightmare to me here. Because uh, people who like to keep bishops tend to understand how to use them. Um, so yeah, one strategy I guess I'd advise is use all your pieces. It sounds 
stupid, but um, it actually works quite well. All right, that's a free piece. Yeah, you have to be very super tactically alert to play this, and it's difficult to be that alert all the time. Um, okay. He can't take my rook. So even though his knight blocks on the one rank, um, he can't take my rook. And I'm just going to try to dash for it. Oh, I can't go there. Uh, this also protects against rook takes rook. Oh, and knight takes doesn't work because his knight's pinned. That was accidental. Um, all right. Now to get rid of the queen, I've got to do something like this. All right, and we just make a little blockade here and stepity step and hopefully go through without interference. I could have just taken the rook, right? No. Taking the rook's unclear. Because it puts my opponent's king one step closer to the end zone. Um, that's what I'm going to call it now on. From now on, it's the end zone. Touchdown! Um, other strategies. Um, bishops are awesome. Rooks are awesome. Knights are really tricky to work with. So you'll tend to see me playing knight takes bishop quite a lot. Um, also try to play, well, I play bishop d4 quite a lot too. Um, and you just really need to analyze all the possible ways to race your king to the end. Because um, some of them will win, and if you missed one of those winning opportunities, that might be your only chance at winning the game. Uh, the game is really that tight. You make one mistake and it could all be over. Oh, so how am I doing rating wise? I'm hovering at 1924. Maybe I can break 1950 today. That'd be a good goal. Um, admittedly, I did start at 2000, but um, I was playing against a seriously fatigued player. So. Yeah, probably back to where I should have been. Um, but yeah, I've got an established rating now, so I could be leaderboard eligible if I just get my rating up. Uh, I see in 10th place there is a player by the name of Why Be Happy. Indeed, he asks the question that we are all curious about. Why be happy? Um, okay, so it's going to be a minute or two before we get an opponent. Man, this king is dashing really quickly. Yep. So rook takes bishop, right? Uh, and probably, well, I, I'm not going to say queen takes rook, because that actually doesn't work. Um... Yeah, Black's King is cut off. If you're up a, a rook in a rook rook queen versus rook queen endgame, um, you're probably winning. Um, in fact, I had king and two rooks versus king and rook, and I could have won that if I hadn't been an idiot, but um, I drew it anyhow. And it was a tough draw, but man, I should have won that. Alright, bishop there. Uh, I'm just going to see how far my king goes. Oh, now he takes my bishop. I'm really not happy with that outcome. Really, really not happy with that. 
now my queen's attacked, so I have to go here. This is not what I was aiming for. How did I mess that up? I guess a bishop there, I just normally do bishop there. I don't know if that's any good or not, but um, I've definitely got myself in hot water here. Because I no longer have my... Wait. This doesn't show the knight for bishop imbalance. I'm... I was trying to count material. Material imbalance is that... Oh, hang on. I got one of his bishops. So actually, this is right. Yeah, the imbalance is that he's got a rook for my knight. Um, somehow I thought he had a bishop pair. Oh, is it my move? He played king h3. Well, that's my move. Okay. Wow. That was too bad. I spent an eternity on that one. Um. Ah, oh, I should not have done that. We'll see why in a second. Oh, knight takes is illegal. Thank goodness. Um. So yeah, that was brilliant. Work of sheer genius. Uh, so I didn't take that. Now the knight's free to move and take there, and I could take back with my queen. And who knows where we go? Um, actually, this is better. So I'm attacking. This is a fork. And because there aren't any checks in this game, um, he can't check me to get out of the fork and save both pieces. He could maybe pin the knight to save the pieces, but he can't check me to save them. Uh, yeah, actually, rook 1, g3 would pin the knight. Um, to which I probably just take the knight on d4, which is pinned anyhow. Uh, also possible is rook b5, trying to stop his king from advancing too quickly. It's it's murky but rook b5 gains a tempo i've got him thinking I'm, i have good chances of winning this on time is it good to move to the center it depends um everything in this game depends taking free pieces is like the one thing that doesn't depend on something else but the answer to just about everything else is it just depends. Okay, that's not entirely a free piece, but I'm going to say it is. Oh, no, I'm threatening to take that. Or I could have taken it last turn. Um, instead, I had to make things complicated. Alright, so... How's it going, buddy? Yeah. When you're up that level of material, it's just over. I think maybe even queen and knight versus rook might be a win. I have to think more about that one. Oh, can you imagine an endgame table base for this game? How fantastic that would be. Alright, so this protects my bishop. Uh, Alright, he plays that. Uh, so I can't take his bishop. Um, yeah, this is how I usually counter bishop move was with the other bishop. Uh, and now I get this bishop. And if I move my rook, I'm losing material, so I'm not going to do that. But... Um, Let's take here. My bishop's still defended. I can't take the knight for free. Now if I take the knight, I get the queen, though, if he takes. So this is okay. This is pinned. Um, now, I'm not threatening to do rook takes rook, because he just takes back, either with knight or queen. And I cannot recapture. And if the knight moves, all kinds of tactics happen. Oh, is that a free piece? That's like the one exception I said. If somebody gives you a free piece, just take it. You like want to take all the pieces and then get your king to the other end. 
At least that's what I want to do. I'm sure there's other ways to play the game um, if you're not a greedy materialist, but if you are, um, it's a strategy. Also, the king can be used to defend pieces in the most hilarious fashion. Um, because checks illegal, all kinds of tactics are possible. So, like, his queen can't go to a wide variety of squares because my king um, would be a check in all these squares. Um, like, my knight back here is defended um, by my king. That king defends pretty much everything it sees. Uh, vertically, horizontally, and diagonally, the king defends. Or if you prefer, orthogonally and diagonally, it defends. All right. Um, so that, yeah, I was going to take that because he can't take back because that would be check. Um, well, somehow I've pulled into a lead in this tournament. By somehow I mean that, like, forever ago the murder castle said, you know, this tournament's fun, but no thanks. So that's how I pulled into the lead. Um... I've got a rating of 1938. I don't know if that's going to be good enough or not to land me on the leaderboard. I've got the black pieces. Um, okay, we're going to counter the bishop move with the bishop move. King move with the king move. Uh, I know this is unwise in general, but... Um, we can go with it. He can't take and nor can I. Um, all right, so this is defended. This this rank here is protected, defended, whatever you want to call it. It's mine. And if he moves the rook, I take the queen. I keep forgetting about that tactic, but it's really important that if this rook moves, I get a queen. I just need to keep saying that because I'm going to forget it. Um, also, can I not? No, I can't run for it just yet. Um, at least I don't think I can. There's like no way that would work. It would be awesome if it did, but I don't see that working. Uh, if I take there, no. All the stuff's hanging. It's most inconvenient. Okay, so I guess, against my better judgment, I'm going to dash here um, and just sack the whole army and try to get my king across. And thanks to my bishop and my semi-well-placed queen, placed queen, I might have some chances. Um, but realistically, this is kind of a death trap, and I'm walking right in seeing if I can win the tournament um, and maybe maybe get a few more rating points um, okay so my king keeps moving um, he can't take my queen because that would be check Wait, what? What's that? I can take the queen now. Okay. What's his big plan? Oh, I saw that. It doesn't work, but um, it's more effective than it should have been. At least I hope it doesn't work. So I've got this covered. I don't know 
what to make of any of this. You know, I just freaked out. I don't see anything. I can do bishop takes. I'm probably lost. Okay, well, that's too bad. Um, no, I seriously blew that. And fatigue is showing. Um, um, I'm taking no time between games to analyze, so I'm just not going to progress. Um, wait, who beat me that game? Ah, the tournament leader has defeated me. Very good, sir. Very good. I'm not going to get another pairing, am I? And even if I did get another pairing, would it be enough to win the event? No. <laughs> I mean, I would have to... I don't know. If I played it really quickly, like... Ah. I mean, it's not going to happen. Oh, it's the second place is mine. I can content myself with that. Man, this 2-1, 3-1, all this is just too fast for me at the moment. Um, that's too bad. Well, that said, why don't I pull up my last game? Well, we'll do that later. There's plenty of time to analyze later and figure out what I'm doing wrong. Um, but surely it's just that I'm missing tactics left and right. And it's not that my strategy is flawed, it's just that people's tactics are getting better. And mine haven't yet reach the level they need to be at to support the level of strategy that I'm playing. I'm playing some hyper-aggressive moves, um, and it's just not working out. Alright, second place. Now, I'm going to try to grind my way to 1950, because it doesn't appear to be happening in tournaments. Um, we're going to try grinding it here. Alright. One, two. Here we go. Hopefully 1-2 is going to be enough. Usually I play with a 2 second or more increment. So hopefully this is going to be enough to get me to where I want to go. Um, it would be awesome and convenient if I could finally get to 1950. I just have to stop blundering all over the place. Um, and, you know, if I don't get an opponent, that's cool. There's always going to be more tournaments. I could just take a break here. Um, yeah, actually, let's cut it here. Let's watch one more game. I hate to go out on a defeat, so let's take a look at what's going on on Leech Us TV. Okay, Black is winning this. Uh, how do you know? Black has an extra piece. Um, and White doesn't have a move. Well, I mean, yeah, Queen H4 is playable, but it doesn't win. Uh, what White needs is a winning move. Um, no, you have to take the queen. No question. That's the only try there, was to take the queen and keep the kings on the same rank. Uh, let's see one more game. Is there going to be one more game on the TV? If not, we'll just cut it here. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Wow, black has got some enterprising play here. Can you just take the knight? I mean, one of two different ways. Okay, yeah, no, that king's not going to make it. Not in... Well, not if white knows what he's doing. Um, king e5 actually worked there, defended both the knight and the bishop. Um... Still, white is a head material. Um, white's now no longer having the bishop pair, so this is getting complicated. This is why you don't commentate on bullet games, because um, the evaluation fluctuates so sharply from move to move that any commentary is near meaningless. Um, uh, so, with that said, um, Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. It's been fun. 
hopefully I will learn how to play tactics better. I will study the games I played off stream and see what I did right and wrong, but I think almost all of what I did wrong is just due to fatigue. Uh, let's update our insights. Cause, I mean, actually the insights won't indicate this because we don't have computer analysis, but uh, let's update the insights anyway and see, like, is there anything we could learn without computer analysis? No, either that or I just don't have enough games to support doing um, discovery here. That's too bad. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for playing, and I uh, hope to see you around. Take care.